two words for you. Entrepreneurship. Two words. Entrepreneurship. Monday mornings, Team BC. Fabrito's back, back in town. We're doing an event, right? For Broke to Woke. Oh, from Broke to yeah. Woke. Yeah, we'll give you guys some more details on the event. So what do we got going here at the TBC We have office. the peach tea going on. Yes. And, uh, of course, dream, plan, and do cup for Monday morning. So Monday motivation, everybody. Go out there and get your goals. Goals are dreams. Dreams are reality. Monday motivation out there. Just because you have dreams doesn't mean you have to sleep on your dreams. Out there are dreams, and dreams are reality, and we are living in a constant state of reality. Well, shizzle. Microwave. Two words for you. Entrepreneurship. So real quick, this is a Monday morning meetings with Valeria, Loida. We recap the week and then we get the week started. First, I just want to congratulate Loida. What was it? Two listings last week and two under contract? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's how we do it. That's right. Okay. And then also <clears throat> the man that I was talking to yesterday in the, in the car, that's going to be another listing in Baldwin Hills. Nice. Woo! Um, we're going to be meeting with him on Saturday to get the keys and everything. The lady has already moved out. Nice. So it's vacant. Yeah. So when I first met with him, I told him the suggested price that I wanted to do was like that. Um, I just have some leads that I'm going to follow up with today. Some expires. That's all I got. Nice. This is the part of the routine, making calls Monday morning after the meeting. Exactly. For how long will you do it? For like three, three and a half hours. Nice. And usually what, what, what's the end result from it? You usually get a couple leads, set an appointment. What does that look like? Yeah, usually I get maybe like three or four leads. Yeah. And sometimes like a solid appointment or a follow-up for that same week. Too. Do you get straight into the calls, Val, or do you do like a little role play session right before? Sometimes I'll do role play sessions. Mostly I'm just prepping for my calls, downloading uh, the list of expireds I'm about to dominate. Dope. So you'll hit expireds. Who do you hit after that normally? Or is it just expireds? I hit new expireds and then I'll hit the old expireds right after. And then I'll just do some follow up. Nice. So we're blessed by your presence from CEDMX. What's the special occasion, bro? I can tell Coatl brought me, man. Yeah. You know, the spirits told me to. I need to come down here and help the old motherfuckers. Uh, Stepping the fuck up, not only with your style, from, but also from broke to woke. I'm going to take you from here to here. I need to woke all you motherfuckers. Wake the fuck up, you motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. He's back. Of course. <laughs> all right, so for those of you who still haven't really seen our office building, this is it. Pretty nice over here in Diamond Bar. Pretty close to the freeway as well. Got the elevator, but normally we take the stairs because we're in shape over here. You ready to talk since you're back? I showed you earlier in the vlog that we, right. we need to chat, man. Let's chat it up, man. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> so, Kevin, you're back. I'm back, man. Did you just go through like a black hole time warp and then you just suddenly pop back up? What happened? You can say that. You can say it was a bit of an exploration phase, yeah. Yeah. a bit of a time to myself. I mean, how much do you want to know? <laughs> well, not much. Just get everybody up to speed because uh, yeah. last June, everyone's like, where the hell's Kevin? Right. I told people who contacted me to contact you to find out because, you know, I want them to talk to you. Right. Um, you know. People think I kicked you off the team. There's a lot of rumors, so just know, get everybody right? up to what, speed on kind of what, what you What happened to yeah. Kevin on Team BC? Well, <laughs> well, I had an opportunity to go over to Alaska and just sort of try something out different just for the sake of some things I was kind of dealing with back mm -hmm. home in my more personal life. And then after that, I still was in this, like, I was off the hype of being there and wanted to see more of the world, and yeah. so... I went ahead and traveled a bit, and after a while, I was like, you know, it's time to get to work, and I'm here. So that helped you? Yeah, it helped me in many different ways. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So now, 
you're back with Team BC. Absolutely, man. For good? Fully loaded. Or are they, 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 they going to see you bounce again and be like, show up in Spain I don't know, skating? man. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> no, fully loaded back. Cool. All right. Let's yeah. do it. All right. Booyah. So the man, Style Systems, is back. So what brings you back to America, bruh? Your mama. <laughs> no, no, Not no. my you mama. You don't want me to say that, right? What brings me back, man? Life. Shit, I need to help your motherfucker to step the fuck up with your style. You know what I'm saying? The world is calling for my knowledge. Because we all look like shit. Huh? You're uh, spiritually, internally, externally, and I gotta, I, I gotta share my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the little area where Val works now, right? Obviously, you guys have seen Lloyd's office, but um, you haven't formally on my channel met Alon Rash. This is her little desk. She's an intern who joined us from Cal Poly. Uh, which is a local university here, probably five or ten minutes from our office. And then this is Lloyd's desk, obviously. Also, uh, right here, if you guys see, we have that kind of film that we put here on uh, the wall because we can draw with the dry erase markers, I believe. And this is kind of like an area that we use for training. I also host a lot of events here. This is one of the reasons that I like the space. And we actually got the hardwood floors. It's really big. It's spacious. I can fit. I just had a... What did I have that free meeting? I want to say a week ago, a week and a half ago, and we had about 50 people here show up. I limited it to that, and you know it was standing room only, but we got people in here. And whenever I want to host events, uh, this is one of the benefits of having an office. So one of the questions I get frequently is, why do you have an office? You know, if you work with EXP, you know you can just work out of your house. But it's important to have a space like this, right? We can work, do things efficiently. We can meet with clients here. I can host events. So it really is multifaceted as far as what I can do with the space and how I can utilize it. So it's been a minute since I did kind of like a vlog style on this channel. Um, I just wanted to get you guys up to speed on kind of what we're doing. Huge shout out to uh, Irina and everybody at the Crystal Hall. We were just in Vegas, if you guys didn't see. You can check out my YouTube story for more uh, pictures and little video clips. We did my third Modern Success event there. We hosted it and it was amazing. We had a lot of great speakers and had a great time. As far as the week before that, we locked in two new listings and put two new buyers under contract. So we had a solid week on the real estate side. And I just kind of wanted to get on camera and give you guys an update regarding that because most of my content has stayed true to the lecture type of format, which I know you guys like. But if you do like the vlogs, maybe I'll, I'll split it up like this a little bit more. It's just if I don't have my camera guy here, it is a little bit more complicated to do the vlogs. But I guess I can swing them if that's really what you guys want. Um, other than that, like I said, we have Alondra, who's the new uh, intern. We also have a brand new assistant that we brought on board and we're shaking things up as far as what we're doing. Also with the team, a lot of people have been asking me, do, can we join Team BC? Everything I'm doing with EXP, guys, for those of you who are interested in joining my team, you can join my team and have all the benefits without actually having to be here physically, right? I have 120 people now who have joined under me at EXP. I provide uh, you know, the private group, the support we do, mastermind calls, coaching calls, and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys really want to join the team, right, go to partnerwithteambc.com. I've been saying it forever. Maybe you think it's hype. Maybe you think it's bullshit. It's not, right? If you sign up through that, you set up a call with us and you join, you're basically a part of the team. The only difference is, is you're not here. You have access to my meetings, right? We, we do the coaching calls. We do all that stuff and support that you would get on top of what you're already going to get from the brokerage. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Also, another quick update. Lamborghini. I've had the Lamborghini uh, two and a half years now, maybe a little bit more. And um, I'm either going to sell it and cash out right now and start picking up some of those old classic cars that I like, like the Skylines, or I may uh, take some of that money and put it in towards a new vehicle because um, I have some other ideas as far as some cars I'd like to mess around with for a little bit, okay? Um, other than that, I'll continue with the vlog. And if you guys need anything or if you enjoy this, leave a comment below, all right?